hi guys welcome to my channel in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how to make this beautiful pink cute gown okay this is actually a flay gown so i decided to make use of black color for myself black is one of my favorite color though so this is very easy to sew okay if you're interested in knowing how i drafted this and how i sew it do it to keep up watching you can see how cute this is on my body this is the material i'm going to be using so i decided to make use of black for myself you can decide to make use of any color of your choice and this is one and a half yard of crepe and this crepe is light in texture so i'm just going to go ahead and fold this into two like a triangular shape so after folding it into two i will go ahead and use my office pin and pin it down the reason why i am pinning it is to avoid shifting okay remember this material is light in texture so it's to avoid shifting and drawing and all that okay so I'll go ahead and pin it down after pinning it down i'll go ahead and refold it like this just like as you can see me doing so after folding it i'll go ahead and take my shoulder measurement my shoulder is 14 14 divided by 2 is 7 so i'll place my tape like this so i'll just go ahead and shift it up until i get to the place where the wideness is exactly 7 so this place is exactly 7 the wideness here so i'll go ahead and use my check and mark a point here also at this side they'll go ahead and connect the straight line across so this is my shoulder line okay from this line i just marked i will mark five inches downward okay you can go ahead and mark six inches or seven inches it's just like off shoulder so we are going to be cutting this part off i will mark it and draw a straight line across so if you want your chest line to be showing very well then you can come down by six or seven inches okay so i'll place my tape on the first line that i marked which is the shoulder line i will mark my armhole from this line i'll mark my armhole which is uh seven and a half inches how to get your armhole go ahead and divide your bust by six add one and a half inch to it okay so i'll go ahead and connect a straight line across just like as you can see me doing so once i was done i will come to the second line here i will mark my shoulder measurement which is seven inches here so from these several inches i will go in by one inch i'll go ahead and connect my armhole like this okay so after connecting it i will come to this line here this second line i will go up by one inch okay so this one inch is going to be serve as my sewing allowance because i'm going to be cutting this right away i'll go ahead and connect a straight line across like this Then after that i will cut it out i will extend the armhole to the sewing allowance so i'll go ahead and use my office pin and pin it down because i'm about to shift this fabric i don't want it to scatter i'll go ahead and shift it like this then what i'm going to be doing next is to go ahead and take the full length of this gown so i'm going to go ahead and place my tape on this second line which is the main line for the like this line here is the main line for the top while this upper one is the sewing allowance so i'll place my tape line this i will minus the five inch okay that we measured today so from that line i'll go ahead and mark the full length of my gun so go ahead and mark the full length of your own gun measure yourself so wherever you want yours to get to go ahead and measure it and mark it so i'll go ahead and mark it like this i'll go ahead and connect a straight line with my ruler just like as you can see me doing then i'll go ahead and cut it out so after cutting it this is what i have i will come to this line this armhole line i will measure my bust uh, measurements my bust is 36 36 divided by 4 is 9 so what i have left is one inch which is going to be serving as a sewing allowance so once i was done i'll go ahead and cut the armhole then cut the sides like this okay And i will open it up as you can see this last one second to the last uh folding did not get to the end so this is not the, i think this is my own fault so when you are folding your fabric make sure they are all equal before cutting it so i'll go ahead and add extra piece i'll go ahead and add place like i'll place another fabric on it like this i will pin it down so after pinning it i'll go ahead and flip it to the other side then i will rearrange it because i want this others i want 
to get the accurate um length so after folding it i'll go ahead and cut it out so this is what i have i'm going to take it to the same machine and sew it with half an inch so this is me sewing it already after sewing it this is what i have i'll go ahead and cut out the excess i'll go ahead and fold my neckline like this okay fold it fold it again with half an inch so i'll just go ahead and sew it straight it's very easy okay with this kind of fold it's very easy just go ahead and fold it with half an inch then i'll go ahead and fold it the other side the other one as well remember this uh, dress does not have a back non front because they are both equal so what i'm going to be doing is to use any side as front or back so i'll go ahead and place the two fabric together like this right side facing right side okay i'll place it together like this so i'm about to shape in the dress very easy to sew after uh, pinning it i'll go ahead and sew it so if you take note you're going to see that i'm sewing it from the armhole down to the down of the dress okay so just go ahead and sew it straight it's very easy so after sewing it i'll go ahead and sew the other side so if you are still watching me you've not subscribed please do it to subscribe like this video and leave your comment if you have any question let me know at the comment section so after that i'll go ahead and fold it down like this with half an inch i'll fold it like this then fold it again with half an inch then after that i'll go ahead and sew it around okay so for the fold for the done if you always have issues folding the down of your flay let me know in the comment section if you want me to do a video uh, dedicated for that let me know i will do it okay how to make your flay come out nice and pretty so there are some people that when they are sewing the flay is either they are making one mistake or the other or is folding up or down so once i was done sewing it this is how it looked like okay so this is it i'm just going to go ahead and fold this into two then take my shoulder measurement again i'll pin it because this thing looks so wide i'm going to measure it to know why it's so wide the neck is so wide so after taking my measurements i discovered i have seven and a half inches so i was supposed to have the total measurement of six, six inches remember after taking our shoulder measurements i minus one inch which is supposed to give me six inches so right now i have seven and a half i'm just going to go ahead and minus half inch then cut it out okay so it's very important to take notes of this so the next thing i'm going to be doing now is to go ahead and attach the stripe so i've gone ahead to cut out two stripe the wideness of this stripe is two inches and the length is about 23 inches so i've also gone ahead to iron light gum stay on it after ironing it i went ahead to fold it in with half an inch i folded the two side it in with half an inch then after that i went ahead to close the folding like a boba bias so this one is very easy just like the way you fold boba bias so this is the this is my dress this is the back part of the dress okay as you can see this is the back part or the back side of my dress so i'm going to go ahead and open up the uh, strap i folded into two right so i'm going to place my strap on it like this at the beginning that is the armhole area like this So from this armhole area like this i'll go ahead and pin it so remember we are pinning it from the back so the right the roughness is going to be at the front after sewing it so please just pay attention to what i'm doing so that you understand so i'll go ahead and sew it like this just pay attention to what i'm doing when it comes to this part so if you already know how to sew it's no problem but just pay attention to what i'm doing then take it to the other side the other armhole side like this at the beginning i'll go ahead and pin it so after pinning it i'll go ahead and sew it it's just like a continuation after sewing it i'll go ahead and turn it to the right side that is to the front part of the dress i'll go ahead and turn it then i'll go ahead and flip it over with the other side like this can you see what i'm doing I'll go ahead and flip it over there, pin it. So after flipping it over, I'll go ahead and sew it. So I'll go ahead and place it like this. Please be gentle with this. 
okay if you're a beginner you don't know how to do this before just watch this video watch over until you get it very easy don't be in haste don't be fast so go ahead and sew it just be doing it gently just like as you can see me doing so I'll go ahead and sew it from the start to the end i will do the same thing for the other side so after sewing it i'll go ahead and sew the armhole i'll cover the armhole area like this so i'll go ahead and do the same thing for the other side so once i was done sewing it i went ahead to iron it out and this is the end part of this video you can see how cute and nice it is so if you check the neck area which is the chest line you are going to see that my covered my bust to the up like it's covered my bust so if you want yours to come down a little like this one this uh picture you can come down by six inches while drafting yours or several inches as well and i have another youtube channel where it talks about how to make money so if you're interested in making money business ideas how to level up okay i'm going to be leaving the link at the description section so please subscribe this is the end of this video so guys don't forget to subscribe and like and turn on post notification see you bye